Hi everyone, Rick here with a bestiary video covering the man-made evolved probe, Vija the Intruder, and otherwise known as Voyager 6. It featured as the antagonist and force of the first Star Trek motion picture film, and was a danger that was defeated through understanding, very Trek. To begin with, let's look at the probe's origin, and I will be including some apocrypha where necessary to flesh out its tale, but I will mention it as I do. In 1999, NASA launched the latest in its series of Voyager probes, with the goal of exploring the solar system then departing into interstellar space. After completing its missions, it sailed out of the solar system, and promptly was drawn into a passing gravitational well. At the time, it was speculated to be a black hole, but considering that it survived, this hypothesis was since re-evaluated. Either way, the probe was considered lost, when in reality it had been transported across the galaxy and dropped off in the Delta Quadrant. Now, some sources also describe a time travel effect that dropped the probe not only in the Delta Quadrant, but far longer ago. Honestly, this seems as if it was in order to tie in to the origin of the Borg, but I'll get back to that. What is canon is that the ship was badly damaged by the trip, and when it emerged on the other end of this anomaly, it was then caught in the gravity well of a planet inhabited by artificial intelligences. This machine planet, as it was described, found the rudimentary probe and effectively took pity on it, seeing it as a precursor to their own development. They took apart the probe and learned of its basic programming, learn all that is learnable, then report its findings back to Earth. They upgraded the probe with their own technology, granting it the capacity of thought and to evolve. They then sent it back on its way. The nameplate was also damaged, so the probe took on the name Vija based on the remaining legible lettering. Thanks to the continual evolution and growth of Voyager, we are unable to identify what technology within the probe is native to the machine planet, and what was created by Vija based on its own collected information. However, it made its way across the galaxy, not quite in a straight line, but following a trail of points of interest. By the time it had arrived at Earth, it was drastically different. While the original Voyager probe remained at its core, Vija itself had completely evolved into an artificial lifeform of a scale not really encountered again in Starfleet history. The probe was now estimated to be about 78 kilometers in length, but was also surrounded by an energy cloud that was at least two astrometric units in diameter. 1 AU is the distance from the Earth to the Sun, so this was easily large enough to engulf the inner solar system. There is some discrepancy in the scale of the energy cloud, with some sources claiming it to be 22 AU instead, but other sources have claimed this to be even accurate, as the energy cloud was amorphous and withdrew as it entered the solar system. So, beginning with the vessel itself, the ship was basically cylindrical, with spires and attachments down its length, mirrored across its six sides. At the rear it had its main engines, surrounded by unknown arrays. The hull underneath had an uneven layering of hull plating that was impervious to Federation weaponry, suspected to be neutronium, contained in an energy dissipating cage. The energy sources appeared to be glowing yellow plasma contained within the vessel, although portions of its hull were also comprised of pure energy rather than a physical material. Just past the drive section was a generator that formed the plasma projectiles. These projectiles were used not only as defensive weapons, but as Vija's primary method of data collection. Launching a projectile at a target, the plasma would disassemble the impacted and return the information gathered to Vija, adding to its knowledge base. There was no known defence. The projectiles were generated towards the rear of the vessel, and a series of amplifiers and pylons added to the complexity of the charge as it passed along the ship's hull before launching. The large pylons are in fact transmitters and receivers, possibly tied into its sensor arrays, but definitely a part of its communications systems. 
one of which was simple radio waves, as used by the original Vija probe. Scans inside the vessel were never attained, but it is suspected that it had no crew members considering its intolerance for biological life, and quite possibly the internals are comprised of the same energy that can be glimpsed throughout its outer hull. Near the front of the ship were shield generators that protected the vessel, as if it needed further defensive layers, and the very front was a mouth. This aperture moved as if almost breathing, but also featured as the only way inside the hull. Once entering this aperture, you were within the machine probe itself. However, inside was replete with extra-dimensional storage pockets that recreated the assimilated information in exacting detail, large enough to simulate entire solar systems. This technology is far beyond anything the Federation has, with the closest equivalent being a holodeck, yet this seems to be an actual pocket dimension of pure information. It's not supposed to make sense, even the fictional Starfleet cannot understand it. If you pursue beyond these chambers, however, you can eventually find the vessel's heart, which itself is a cavernous room of tiles and defensive systems that eventually culminates in a platform where the original Voyager probe is housed. It also had the ability to create its own probes, based on forms it had digitised to communicate and observe on its behalf, heralds of this greater power, if you will. Such a probe was made from the mind and form of Lieutenant Ilya in 2273, and although it retained her knowledge and on some level emotional capacity, it was entirely Vija's avatar. Vija is a 12th level power, which is of a magnitude large enough to completely digitise entire solar systems in hours and recall all the information assimilated instantly. It remains one of the most advanced beings ever encountered, with nothing even halting its path. Vija had little compassion for organic life, however. With itself and its saviours being machines, its definition of life prioritised similar beings. Therefore, things less advanced than itself, or even simply organic in nature, were not even perceived as truly alive, let alone sentient enough to have constructed it. From its calculated point of view, how could its creators be inferior to it? This perspective was shifted, however, when it bonded with a human, as this granted it a new understanding and approach to things that it could not achieve through pure logical calculus alone. Things like belief, emotional understanding, and instincts. After it had absorbed so much information to have evolved its own emergent consciousness, it could no longer grow any more without this crucial factor, and the two beings achieved a synthesis of minds. The practical upshot of this was that Vija was able to think more creatively and make its own decisions beyond its core programming. The next stages of its exploration were now covering things like multiversal travel, time travel, and even beyond the edges of the known universe, and so it departed to learn more, having reached an apex of artificial intelligence, and now something else entirely. In Apocrypha and alternate timelines, it is revealed that it continued to explore these other realms and states of being, returning only to encounter its mirror universe counterpart, Conqueror or Seeker. One other story the one that marks it as having travelled back through time, also mentions that it took on a race of humanoid servants to maintain it, adapting them with technology before growing beyond the need to have them. It then deposits them on an unknown planet in the Delta Quadrant, spawning the Borg. While this is not canon, it is paid homage in Star Trek Online with Borg motherships often resembling Vija's form, hinting at a connection. Personally, I like the theory, but prefer the Borg's origin to be uncertain. The Kelvin universe also encountered its own Vija. This one was contacted by Nero, who revealed a weakness in the overall design of a pre-ascended Vija, and that was its inability to understand strong emotions. 
Attempting to assimilate the knowledge basically confuses the probe for a time, allowing for someone to escape its clutches. In the year 2411, Star Trek Online chronology, UFP weaponry was powerful enough to damage some components of the probe, but only resulted in some temporary disruptions to its systems and no true harm. Finally, there is some speculation in the first Splinter timeline that the Voyager probe landed on the homeworld of the Kalia, a species that went on to create the Borg II, but this would seemingly be contradicted by the fact that Voyager's upgrades came from a complete machine race, and that the Kalia were effectively comprised of programmable matter, making them a sort of hybrid. So that covers the lore and history of Vija, as well as some of the more popular speculations and alternate versions that crop up in the expanded universes of Star Trek. I've been Rick, thanks for watching this bestiary, and I'll see you next time for another lore video. Thanks again, and goodbye.